see. We've got these hinges here. You got the handles on top. I don't see anything locking it together. I think it's held together by magnets. Well, that's what it looks like when it's folded out. This is the cord here. You got a box here wired to this box. Comes out to this cord that you have MC4 on. It's like a 7909 or 80. Looks like a Anderson and a 5521. So you can hook up to any of those type of panels. This is 16 gauge wire in here, which goes down to whatever that is. But that's definitely a 7909 based on that pin inside there. So this will work with Blue Eddies. Most of the other panels with Anderson and this, and any other panel you need with this. This is supposed to weigh six pounds. I'll have to weigh it to find out. And you can see right there. Peak power is 100 watts. Power tolerance is plus or minus 5%. You have uh, open circuit rollers are 21.8. So this will not work on my Go Labs because it has a 15 uh, volt limit. It will work on my EcoFlow River 2. And it should work fine with like an EB3A from Blue Eddy or most of the other, any other panel that's rated higher than 21.8 volts input. Um, when it's plugged in, it's supposed to be about 18.6, but you always go by open circuit voltage. You can see it should put out about 5.38 amps to 5.59 amps. And this is the label that's on it. Did you not see UL? It says UK, Canada, so it might... This is made in China, and you see it's bifacial. There's no white covering on the back. It's supposed to be ETFE um, coated. So this is supposed to get 100 watts. We will find out on a sunny day. It is rainy and cloudy today. And these do have weak magnets in the corners here. Not very strong at all, but they are magnets there. It's a sunny day today. I got my panel set up over there. I got wired over here. Going to be powering, testing it on the EcoFlow. Adjusted the angle a little bit. We're still getting 67 watts. I'm gonna have to get uh, get something to use a can trick to make sure I have it angled properly. Um, we'll go from there. The first thing I could find is one of these pack locks. See, could probably go back a little more. And then come up more.
looks like we're at 68 watts now. About the best angle I can get. I have to get all my reflectors on the back of it, see if I can get some more power that way. All right, got my windshield reflector up underneath there. Okay, something I did learn about the River Pro 2 yesterday was when it gets down to 5%, it also shuts off the inverter just like the bigger pool does. Bigger pool, once you get down to 5% battery life or 5% left, it shuts down the inverter. Right, I've got up to 71 watts. I've moved the legs back as far back as they'll go to try to make it a little, see if it'd be any better. And I tried to keep them from going inward like that when they're standing straight. When they're fully folded, it'll do that. Try to keep that straight. Might be a little too much. It's a little better. We're still sitting there at 70, 71 watts. Denser right around 70 watts. 4.2, 4.3 amps and 16.2 to 16.4 volts. I'm sure that reflects it could be a little bit better if it was flatter, but you know, it's made for a car windshield and it folds up. But this is the 100 watt uh, panel. It's supposed to be bifacial. I would say that cord is about, I would guess, uh, maybe eight feet long, maybe six feet. We're still at around 70 watts. I plugged in the fan just to get some airflow to help cool, keep me cooler. Take about three hours to charge. Let's see where we're sitting at. up to 16%. We started at 5. It's been about an hour since I started. And you can see I'm now getting 76 watts in. There we go. So far, getting about 75% to 76% efficiency out of this thing. Let's see if I can 
April at the time. 2.14 in the afternoon. It's been a few hours. Last time I was out here was around 11.30. Um, you see I'm down to about 60, 57 watts. Going in. Fifty-seven, fifty-eight on there. This came up to 87% so far. The sun has moved quite a bit. It's now directly above my head. So I'm going to adjust the panel. All right. I laid it flat on the ground. See, I'm up to 71 watts now. Right, over there's the panel. Says it will take twenty four more minutes to get the full. So I'll be back out here in about thirty minutes to see where it's at. Yeah. It is two forty eight now. I had to move the panel in because it got shade on it. Because it was over there. It was down to 13 watts when it came out. Uh, going in, it said 30 here, but it was only pulling in 13. Uh, by moving it, I got it back up to 64 watts. And now it says five minutes left. We're up to 96%. All right, well, the sun's behind the clouds again. You can see we're around 11 watts. It's pulling in 12 watts, up to 98%. It still says five minutes to trip the full. That's still there for you, up and down. Alright, I found my scale. This is made for refrigerant. Alright, it weighs 5 pounds, 15.5 ounces. That is this with the wire just the what comes with it not including the uh, case we got up to 60 99% there before I stopped with the case it weighs six pounds ten ounces so this case by itself weighs close to a pound, but there you go.